Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be mixing all of my liquid highlighters together. You probably already know that from the thumbnail, but I have them all set up here. I have a Tati cam going. You can see my little collection here, which is pretty modest. I think liquid highlighters is actually like the most modest collection that I have in my whole like makeup collection itself. Like I have seen other people do these types of videos and I saw Safia do a highlighter one where she did all her powder highlighters and like that for me, I'm like, no. We were like three drawers deep of powder highlighter. Like that's just not gonna happen. I've also seen James Charles mix all his powders together. I think Safia actually started all of them, but I've also seen Manny do something similar to this. And then even before the whole mixing everything together situation, I wanna give a nod to Christine from Simply Nail Logical because she's the one that decided to like paint her nails with a hundred different nail polishes. And she did Polish Mountain and then everybody was like, I know what to do now. I'm gonna smack 100 you know, foundations on my face and then it became the layer challenge and now it's like, let's mix them all together challenge and then put it on and <sighs> YouTube is really weird sometimes. I'm really curious to see what happens. Maybe I'm gonna like discover the best highlighter of my life and maybe I'll have like a secret batch and then the description box will be like 50 highlighters mixed together. That would actually be really awful. Also, I wanna let you guys know to make sure you come back on Monday because I have a huge, giant announcement. Oh, I'm just like bursting at the seams. I am not pregnant. Anytime I like have a big announcement, people are like, oh my God, you're pregnant. I'm not pregnant, but I have such a special thing to announce to you guys. So make sure that you come back for Monday's video. It's gonna be a big week here on my channel and I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy about it. All right, uh, let's just get to mixing things together. I'm like rolling up my sleeves. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review as we go through all of these highlighters. I first am gonna start out with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the shade Champagne Pop. Um, so this is uh, Jaclyn Hill's shade. I'm gonna take just a few pumps there. I'll show you guys. This is so stunning though, just on its own. The Shimmering Skin Perfector liquid is one that I actually do really enjoy using with a beauty blender, and I can just kind of dab it on the high points of my face. It doesn't bunch or pill or grab, and it's a very reliable and gorgeous highlight. I'm also gonna take the shade Moonstone, making like a little batch here, and I'm gonna take the shade Opal. Now we're gonna mix in some of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. These are potent, these are like you, you need to be ready to shine if you are gonna wear these. I apply them the same way with a beauty blender and I will show you. Now I still have the Shimmering Skin Perfector right over here, but you really can't even see it because this is just like stealing the show. This is such a gorgeous, but very in your face, very loud highlight. This is the shade Sunlight and I'm gonna take just a couple of drops. I wanna take all the shades together actually. I'm gonna take the shade Blossom and I'm gonna take the shade Sunkissed. Wait, did I already do sun? No, Sunlight. Sunkissed, ooh, that is an old bottle. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I'm going to now take the shade Rose Gold and I'm actually going to shake it, which you really should shake these before you go ahead and dispense from your dropper. That was my fault. Da -da -da -da. Let's just kind of like see where we're at right now, right? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know whether that looks beautiful or disgusting. It looks like shiny. This actually looks more like foundation than anything else. It looks like I could like foundation my whole face with this. Surprisingly, this is a better match than, um, than I've been able to achieve ordering new foundations in a while. Look at that. I have my iconic illuminator drops. These are very similar to the Cover FX drops. I would say they're even more metallic if that's possible, it just, they just are. This is really fun. I can actually, like I'm totally understanding why people get so into this. Okay, so this right here, you guys, this is like a very not hyped about um, highlight. And this is from the Beauty Crop. This is called Glow Milk and it contains coconut oil. It's cruelty free, no mineral oil, phthalates, parabens, it's vegan. And I think this is so beautiful and it is not talked about a lot. The only thing I don't like is it comes with like a nail polish-esque brush so you really have to kind of coat the back of your hand quite heavily then grab a sponge if that's your method of application so i think i'm just going to kind of like tip the bottle over and like see if i can get it to come out now we're going to take a little bit of this this could be a bad idea 
ah, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this in there. I think we need to have like a nice base to our liquid highlight. So I'm gonna take some MAC strobe cream. This stuff you could really just moisturize your skin with and then go in with foundation. If you're someone that has dry skin and you need that like added dewiness, this stuff is fantastic. Put it on your body, mix it in with your foundation. If you have a full coverage foundation that you wanna take down to more of a medium, fresh kind of a foundation, you can do that. Strobe cream is nice. We're gonna go in with straight glitter. Why? Because why not? I want to have a nice glitter base. And then we need iridescent glitter, like a little unicorn touch to it as well. We're gonna take some Zoeva strobe gel, very shiny. I don't like this on top of foundation. I feel like it's more of a natural, fresh, under foundation type of a thing, or if you wear no foundation type of a thing. Um, this is actually not like one of my favorites, but you know what? We're mixing them all together, so. Let's see what happens. Ooh, oh my God, that is just not appealing. Get off of my finger. Oh, ew. Over here. We have the shade Rewind Nova, Nova something. Woof. And Areola, that's not the name. It dries back down. Like I've used this, but it like dries back down to your like, wah, ugh. Do you guys have like a texture thing? Like I don't like yogurt or pudding. Like it just freaks me out. Where else can I take my invention of highlight? Okay, I have these crazy things from Incredible. This is an iridescent jelly. I think we need to put this in here. What? Oh, it's the same, ew, ew, ew. Oh my God. That is so iridescent though. Okay, we need to put that in there. A little bit, a little bit of that. Ew, that is just, it's like a unicorn sneezed in my plate right here. It's gross. I'm now gonna take some of my master strobing liquid from Maybelline. So we're having kind of a high-end luxury hybrid type of a moment here. I wanted to also kind of scrape off a little bit some of my like more stick cream ones. I just, I don't know, I thought that would be kind of an interesting idea. There she goes, it's my Marc Jacobs. I love this one. Oh my God, it looks like a deodorant stick. But you guys, this highlighter, you put this on just a little doop, doop, and you just look like you have such beautiful skin that the light is just like hitting you in the most perfect ways. Like you are walking around your life with a ring light and it's just such a pretty highlighter. I really love that one. I also super love this one from Hourglass. This is the Champagne Flash Vanish Highlight. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm, I'm like destroying you. Okay, I also wanna take some of this Marc Jacobs actual liquid. This is the Do You Do Drops and this has coconut in it as well. And I think I wanna put some of this jelly in here too. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Dang, that is really cool. Oh my gosh. On deeper skin tones, especially, I think this would look so freaking stunning. We are at the moment of mixing. I feel like I'm watching one of those videos that's like, this is highly satisfying. I feel like my stress is being relieved. I'm having a hard time getting it to like the fluffy consistency that I want it to be. This might be a mistake, but I'm half tempted to take my power tool right here and just like see. Let's just, let's just see what happens. It's working. <laughs> I have scooted you guys a little closer so we can just have more of a moment with this highlighter that now that I'm thinking of it is going to be the most expensive highlighter I have ever put on my face. So I have my dampened beauty blender here. I have grabbed plenty of this highlight. I'm gonna take a little of the excess off just for safety and we're gonna go in. Oh, oh. Ooh. This is the finest highlighter I've ever applied to my face. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I kind of can't believe this, you guys. I thought it was gonna look like an absolute disaster. Okay, the consistency on here could use some improvement, but look at this side. It's like angelic and so glowy and wholesome. 
whoever decided to mix everything together, like the official originator, whoever we wanna think it is, Christine or Safia, you guys are geniuses. Geniuses, I wanna mix all my makeup together now. Like I just wanna mix like every foundation and primer and like I just wanna like mix it all. This is beautiful. I'm actually gonna get like a little plastic container for this. I'm not even joking. I wish I had made a bigger batch. I'm gonna have to like go in and double the recipe because this was so perfect. You guys, it actually is sitting on my skin so perfectly and like the shade of it is perfect. Everything A to Z is perfect. I am amazed, I'm blown away, I'm speechless. Oh my God, I need more lip gloss. I'm still on this, by the way, um, from Sephora. This is the Outrageous uh, number two plumping gloss. You guys, I talked about this in my Sephora Hot or Not. It has been like a daily obsession. You know what else is gonna be a daily obsession? This right here, because it's just really oddly perfect. So you guys, from here on out, when someone says, what is your favorite highlighter? I am just gonna be like, all of them. All of them all at once, at the same time, mixed together, all of them. This was so much fun to film. If you wanna see me do this with powder, primer, foundation, let me know. I am happy to mix it up once in a while, literally. Oh my God, I hate myself when I make this kind of jokes. Ah, okay, I need to go enjoy my day, my beautiful highlight. I love you guys so much. Be sure that you come back on Monday. I am dropping the biggest news ever, so come back for that. Have a good weekend and uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys on Monday. Mwah.